Another day, another story. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Mount Rushmore as one of the most iconic landmarks in the United States, located in the Black Hills of South Dakota. The massive sculpture depicts the faces of four American presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. The idea for the sculpture was first proposed by South Dakota historian Doan Robinson in 1923. He wanted to create a tourist attraction that would boost the economy of the Black Hills region. In 1924, Robinson contacted sculptor Gutzon Borlam to create the sculpture. Borlam was a well-known artist at the time, and had previously worked on the Stone Mountain Memorial in Georgia. Work on the sculpture began in 1927 and was completed in 1941. The faces of the four presidents were carved into the granite mountain using dynamite and chisels. The carving process was extremely difficult and dangerous, and many workers were injured or killed during the construction. The faces of the presidents were chosen to represent the birth, growth, development, and preservation of the United States. George Washington, the nation's first president, represents the birth of the country. Thomas Jefferson, the author of the Declaration of Independence, represents the growth of the country. Theodore Roosevelt, who led the country during a time of industrialization and expansion, represents the development of the country. Abraham Lincoln, who preserved the Union during the Civil War and abolished slavery, represents the preservation of the country. Mount Rushmore is a popular tourist destination, with over 3 million visitors every year. The site offers a number of activities and attractions, including a museum, a film about the history of the sculpture, and a presidential trail that allows visitors to get a closer look at the faces of the presidents. The site is also open for night lighting ceremony which is a spectacular sight during the summer months. In addition to the faces of the four presidents, Mount Rushmore also features a number of other carvings and sculptures. These include the Hall of Records, which is a small room carved into the mountain that contains a time capsule with historical documents, photographs, and other artifacts. The room was sealed in 1998 and is not open to the public. Another notable feature of Mount Rushmore is the Apotheosis of Washington, which is a sculpture of Washington as a godlike figure, surrounded by symbols of American culture and history. Mount Rushmore is also surrounded by beautiful natural scenery, including pine forests, granite cliffs, and wildlife. Visitors can hike the Presidential Trail, which offers a great view of the sculpture and the surrounding landscape. Mount Rushmore is also a popular spot for photographers, as the faces of the presidents are illuminated at night, creating a stunning and unique sight. The park is open year-round, but the best time to visit is during the summer, when the weather is mild and the lighting ceremony takes place. In recent years, there has been some controversy over the carving of Mount Rushmore. Some Native American tribes have called for the removal of the sculpture, arguing that it was carved on sacred land without the consent of the local tribes. There have also been calls to add the faces of more women and people of color to the sculpture to better represent the diversity of the United States. Despite these controversies, Mount Rushmore remains one of the most popular and recognizable landmarks in the United States. It is a symbol of American history and culture, and a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the human spirit. Another interesting fact about Mount Rushmore is that it was not the first location proposed for the carving of the presidential faces. Initially, Borlam had considered carving the faces into the granite cliffs of the Needles, South Dakota, but eventually chose Mount Rushmore due to the lack of vegetation and the presence of a more suitable granite structure. The carving of Mount Rushmore was also not without its challenges. The granite at the site was extremely hard and difficult to work with. As the work progressed, the workers encountered unexpected difficulties such as underground streams, which made the carving process even more challenging. Despite these challenges, the workers were determined to complete the project, and they persevered through difficult working conditions, including extreme heat and cold, wind, and dust. Many of the workers were skilled sculptors, stonecutters, and engineers, but some were also unskilled laborers who were willing to work for low wages. During the Great Depression, the federal government provided funding for the project through the New Deal programs. This helped to provide jobs for the local community and to keep the project moving forward. Mount Rushmore is also an important cultural and educational resource. 
The park offers a wide variety of educational programs and activities for visitors of all ages, including ranger-led tours, lectures and workshops. The park also offers a junior ranger program for children, which teaches them about the history and natural resources of the area. In conclusion, Mount Rushmore is not just a sculpture but an American treasure. It's a symbol of the country's history and culture, and a tribute to the hard work and determination of the men and women who built it. It's an important tourist destination, a cultural and educational resource, and a reminder of the important role that these four presidents played in shaping the history of the United States. Thanks for joining us today to learn about Mount Rushmore. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.